hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to show you my updated dazzle beach tour here we are at the entrance which i have recorded this previously showing off stitch's smoothie shack so if you have seen that before i'm just going to show it again really quickly as you enter we have this cute little grand entrance i i put the lifeguard stand right in the middle as a nice focal point oh my god i just love how this looks i think i did such a good job and of course i have the area where you could just lay out and chill with your beach towel and beach umbrella Now back here I have Goofy Stand, where you could sell and buy things at the beach. Now let's work our way over to Stitches area before we go on to the other part of the beach. Now like I've shown in a previous video, I have here his little smoothie stand, where he sells two types of smoothies. So you can come over here, buy a smoothie, sit down, relax, get some energy, feel the fan, and hear the breeze. So yeah, I really like the idea of making his home more than just his home and making it a smoothie shack. I also really like this pebbled walkway that I added to his home. I love how I arranged the trees leading into the Glade of Trust over here. They just arch towards each other and it just, I don't know, it looks really cute. So I just wanted to touch on that little detail. Okay, now let's work our way to the other side of the beach that is now complete for now. I want to of course have to show my chest really quickly that I keep next to all of Goofy's stands so I can easily access any last minute things in any part of the world. Over here I have Maui's little sandcastle that of course had to go on the beach because it's a sandcastle. Now I saw this in another creator's video that they put Goofy's house they put Goofy's boat on this dock, which I thought was such a great idea. Obviously, it's a boat. It needs its own dock, so I thought it was so cute. So we can pretend like Goofy takes it out and brings it back. And I placed some chairs here that would be nice if he can go fishing and actually sit down in those chairs. So let's pretend like that could work. Now over here, I put Maui's little island. I liked this area <sighs> for it, so it could con so it could kind of connect the two little islands and just I don't know. I think it looks cute. Now, of course, back here, I have nothing really done because this thing is blocking. That's still not unlocked yet. So eventually, I will do something with this little island. But for now, I have Moana's fishing thing here. Now, as we work our way next to Maui's house, I have Prince Eric's castle. Now, in the actual movie, Prince Eric's castle is next to the ocean, so I felt like it needed to be next to the ocean in my game. And of course, it's pretty simple, just with a bamboo gate up, and of course, a statue right in front. And I like the side access to the beach. It just seemed very, like, Eric. But yeah, it's simple. Maybe eventually, when we have access to unlock that little island, I, I will move Eric's house there, but for now, the castle's there. Now we're going to work our way to Moana's little house area. I landed the torches to her main entrance of her house. I thought it looked nice and really fit her vibe. And especially at this time of day, it looks really nice because it's illuminated. Now to the right, I have a table where villagers can gather and hang out with Moana. Now back here, I kind of have like a campsite set out where you can pretend like you're cooking the fish that you just caught. And over here I put the tribal table that it just seems like they're worshipping their food and appreciating it and thanking it in this area of the land. I almost forgot to show this but towards the left of Moana's home I put the pool over here, the like nice relaxing waterfall pool. I put it over here because I thought it just fit the beach vibe. I think eventually I may move it, but for now, I'm happy with it where it is. Now, the last part of Dazzle Beach is, of course, Ariel's home. Now, I do have this previously in another video, so if you've seen that before, I haven't changed it since then. For anyone who hasn't seen it, I'm going to show it again. Now, I have the palm trees that illuminate as her kind of entrance to her area. 
and I placed everything that was very oceany, beachy in her area. Yeah, I really like what I've done here. I mean, I know it's small, but I I like it. It's small, intimate. This is definitely another part of the area that I don't think I will change. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, that's all I have for I'm my so beach tour, my updated beach tour. Let me know what you have set up in your Dazzle Beach. Maybe you'll give me some ideas on what to add or tweak with my area. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.